So when we get into the whole point of the podcast, which is ethics versus business, what I guess my first question to you and to everyone out there is who would you rather be? Would you rather be Jay Z, which is you have all this money and everything, and you have the ability to do do things where you you can't a help people, but b you know we don't really know if you are or aren't. Right, right. The we, people that get helped, they get help. They, they get helped, but they're not the priority. Right, the priority is to make money and right. Yeah, or would you rather be Dame Dash, who is also rich, just not as much as Jay Z, and who has. You know, time and time again has put his, um, or at least, you know, his narrative, he, he's put his ethics and he's put his integrity out first before trying to make a Right. Money. He'll he'll lose the money so right. that, like, you don't get screwed over, basically. Right. Um, personally, in a, in a world where you have to choose one and there's no, it depends and there's no, well, if I was Jay-Z, I would just be the ethical Jay-Z and blah, blah, blah. With all that in mind, I would be fucking Jay-Z and then have his money. Because, uh, yeah, anyone that doesn't, like, you're fucking lying. You're fucking lying, man. Like, you you don't want that shit. You don't want that power. You don't want that fucking money to to be like, hey, I want to do this. I have this idea. It gets done. Like this. He had the idea to, like, I'm going to own an NFL team. It made it, it. It fucking took a while because it's a huge idea. Yeah. But it fucking happened. Or at least he's about to. Yeah, he's about to. Anyone that, that says they would uh, they would trade or whatever, all this crap and blah, 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 doesn't have it. Because once you get it and once you realize how much fucking work it takes to get there, to get to that level and to get that power, you're not doing any of that. You're going to keep it. You're like, no, 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 fuck all of you. I worked this fucking hard. I bet on myself time and time again. I took all the fucking risk. While you guys weren't there, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna risk that for you guys. Why? See, when it comes to uh, to Jay, and uh, like I said, we started with him, but we're gonna use him as an example for like people who are super uber successful and things like that, right? They always get compared to being shrewd businessmen, one, and then they always talk about oh, I took risk and things like that. But when you kind of go down to like the nitty gritty of like these quote unquote risks and things like that, right? You kind of end up on the same block or in the same ballpark where it's like the risks, quote unquote, where they really risks because it's like if you have all this wealth and influence or whatever, right? Are you, can you really lose? Nothing is guaranteed. I put it that way. Nothing is guaranteed, no matter who you are. Right. Nothing is guaranteed. Because if we go, let's say if we go Trump, right? Mm-hmm. Before Trump took over his dad's business, it was it was booming, right? Because of all the shady racist shit that he was doing, right? Right. Trump took it over. And technically, he had all that, right? Influence, power, all that crap. He knew all the right people. Right. Still went bankrupt however many times in a row. Yeah. Got it back because of the name and shit like that. But still, it failed time and time again. Right. So all that stuff, it's it's not guaranteed. Like the whole like betting on yourself, it's like you have to do due diligence to keep it going to make sure it stays afloat. Right. Like you can't you like having that name and influence definitely. You start like halfway down the line. You're not you're not starting at the fucking start with everybody else. You're you're way ahead. You got that privilege over there. Mm-hmm. So you're starting far in advance. But I'm gonna say nothing is guaranteed. Well, see, that's kind of my point. When you use Trump as the example, yeah, he did go, he did file for bankruptcy four times, if I'm not mistaken. Um, That's something where I look at that and it's like, that would be my prime example because it's like, does he get the opportunity to make it back and everything if he's not Donald Trump Jr.? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, um, he's a junior, right? Um, I'm not sure what his dad's name was. I'm not sure what his dad's name was. His son might be the junior. Fuck yeah. it, whatever. But, but anyways, yeah, it wasn't the, the him. Of, it wasn't him that yeah, started it. It wasn't him and everything like that. He has the the ability to be like, okay, I have this unlimited source of resources, people who I either owe my father 
or they're going to they're gonna help me because of what my father's done and so on and so forth yeah. and everything like that. And of course, of course, then at that point, you know, his father's out of the picture. So it's like, okay, I have to now forge these relationships, keep them going yeah. to get this type of shit and everything like that. So that's where I'm kind of saying, you know, is it really a risk? Because I feel like a risk is like right now, me and you got 20 grand in between us, right? Yeah. We go see like some, some we meet someone who has this, we think it's a dope idea for a startup and it's like, hey, we, you know, I, I just need this and this and that, whatever. The risk is we're taking, the, we're risking our 20 grand, which is all we have to us, right? Right. To this person and they're, the idea sounds fucking fail proof, but the risk is we can lose everything. And not yeah. to mention we can be fucking looked at as frauds because we're, we're going down with this nigga because we're going yeah, into Yeah, our names are signed yeah, our names onto these are on papers shit, and right? shit. Yeah, I mean it, it's a different risk, because our risk is like it's like again we're we're starting at the start. We don't have no privilege. We don't have like all we got like is a guess, a gut feeling. Right. We don't have like the lawyers that these people have to protect them if something does happen. You know, it, it's still a risk. It's just not as great as as a risk we would take. Right. If we decided to do it at this stage. Right. Because so, one day we're gonna, it's gonna be like, it's not really a risk. Right. Because, and I would feel like it's because of the same reasons, again, because I feel like something that needs to get, definitely needs to be like highlighted is none of these people become this successful by being dumb. Yeah. Like, it's not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Like, so. And if you are dumb, I mean, you file for bankruptcy like Trump. Yeah. Like, eventually you're gonna fuck up. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, and the thing is, like, when I look at people like a, like a Jay Z, um, like a Trump, you know, me and your, me, me and your, me and your sister got into it over a Kim Kardashian, <laughs> and I and I feel like, now looking back at it, it's the philosophy of everything because I'm looking at, her and being like, okay, she has a talent because she's not stupid, she's capitalizing off of it. Yeah. Your sister was like, no, she's capitalizing off of stupid people. Yeah. And I'm like, the, to break it down, I guess, with what I'm saying now, it's like, you can't throw out anything and make a profit. Everyone yeah. knows it. Like, you can't. Like, if, if for everyone out there, you want to, you know, if you guys have an idea to sell something, go out, make the idea, and then try to walk up the, walk up and down the street and sell it to people. Yeah. Like, I guarantee you might get maybe one or two people to actually buy it. And that, and that might be because, A, they either are crazy, B, they're trying to be nice to you and, and tell you get the fuck out of their face, <laughs> without telling you get the fuck out of their face, or three or whatever. They might actually believe in it. Right. Right. Which is why the, these people use their influence. Like, it, it'd be dumb not to. Exactly. Like, prime example, we've already done it. We've done it since fucking you guys have started listening, like, have known us. Mm-hmm. We've had Manny on. Yeah. We've had Adelpha on. Yeah. Like, we, we, we love them and, like, it's fun having them on, but... Their influence is what you go, what got you here, right? right? And that's why you keep listening. Right. Because a and lot of you, a lot of you have said that, like, I only came here to listen to them, but you guys turned out to be like amazing, awesome, great. Your Asshole. words, your words, not ours. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, but exactly. But it, it's like that. It's, you'd be dumb not to, especially if you if you're risking your money. Like you're gonna use every advantage you can. Yeah, to because if you. And that's where, like, I feel like it's such a it's such a fine line between being ethical and then you know being a businessman. Because yeah. at the end of the day, it's like the people that people look at and they're like, "Oh, they're such great people and everything like that." It's like if you only knew the people who they probably fucked over, <laughs> if you only really knew, right? Yeah. And it's like someone like a Jay Z and everything. We look at him as like, "Oh yeah, he's such a dope dude. Cares about the community and everything like that." But we can look at something that was very public and you know it's been the truth. As far as we know it, but um, as you know, we talked about Rockefeller, Jay Z, Dame Dash. That was a partnership. They both owned Rockefeller, like you know, and literally the whole situation. I guess to put it in the most, in the quickest terms possible is uh, there. Jay Z became the president at Def Jam. Rockefeller was signed to Def Jam. You know. That was the parent company. Um, during this time, a lot, of, a lot of like music was changing. A lot of different artists were were becoming popular around this time. Like or around this time period, Fifty Cent is like 
killing everything. So Rockefeller had had its run between like ninety nine to like oh. Oh three, like right, it was Rockefeller everything. Like didn't, he, I forgot, didn't you told me like a long time ago? Like he fired a lot of those people, right? Like after after that Fifty Cent thing came out, and they were like, "You guys aren't putting in the work. You guys are out of here." Yeah, you know, that was Rockefeller. That yeah. was that group. Yeah, okay. that was that like that was that label because okay. um, uh, it, he didn't fire. Well, he did, but the, the 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 whole story it goes is that he told everyone that hey. Like, 50 Cent is coming. Like, you know, mm-hmm. this is, like, dur- during the mixtapes when 50 Cent is getting popular. He's like, no, no, this nigga is going to be the next thing. Like, the, like you, we got to we gotta get, in, get ahead of this. Yeah. And they were like, again, because at that time, you on top. It's like, who the fuck is this nigga? I don't yeah, care. Course, like, yeah. they, they ain't going to do shit. Anybody on top just thinks they're untouchable. Right. So then when 50 came, it was like, well, what the fuck we going to do now? And then he's sitting there like, yeah, no, I told you. But this, this is why, of course... The timelines are very. It's it's so dope. How the how because like, again he is very smart. Mm-hmm. Fifty Cent comes. Jay Z retires a couple months later. Right, the whole like big old. Right, right, the whole big whatever. Right, Fifty Cent's peak is from oh three to late oh five. Right, that 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 that's, that's when he's at his hottest. Right, Jay Z comes back late oh five. Fifty Cent loses to Kanye oh six. Jay Z back on top, yeah, seamlessly. Like, like, and then it's so crazy how, like, again, it, I'm a hip hop nerd, so I like I see the shit, but it's like it so seems like he did it, and I was like, damn, he just got away with that. Yeah, he played chess. He, he was just like, you know chess. what? He was like, the only thing I could do to like keep stay in the limelight, retire, yeah. retire, let this dude have his run, let this shit die down, yep. and then I'll just come right back because I can't if I try to play with them. Yep. He's so big right now. He's dissing everybody. He already dissed me. Mm-hmm. Like I might just get caught up in this shit. Exactly. Like, and he came back, and then like, of course, because people want you to come back because you're retiring at such an early right. age, quote unquote, whatever. That when you come back, it's this huge deal, and you're guaranteed to fucking be like number one, probably. Right. So, but to get to that whole point, when Jay retires, he ends up becoming the president of Def Jam, and now the whole the plan is okay. They have Rockefeller. Jay's the president. This is going to be, like, ultra now. Like, basically, Def Jam is going to be fucking Rockefeller. Right. Like, and everything like that. But what happens is uh, a couple other high-powered people in positions, they make a couple switches. Dame, like I said earlier in the podcast, Dame was the one going into the office and screaming on people and trying to get his artists, you know, the respect that they were due and everything like that. So a lot of people in, in the office didn't like Dame, but they liked Jay. Right. So the whole thing was, okay, we're going to move forward. We're going to make Jay the president. Yeah. Dane was the one who was really the one running the label, though. But Jay's the president. Now you got to make a choice. It's like, okay, what the fuck? Now, at this point, too, now they're having a little dissension because of bullshit and whatever. Uh, There was rumors. um, Now what's come out now. But uh, Dame Dash was was dating Aaliyah at the time. Jay-Z had the album with R. Kelly. Uh, Dame Dash to himself said that, you know, he didn't feel comfortable about that because of what Aaliyah told him about R. Kelly. Jay-Z still said, fuck it, went on and did it anyway. Yep. And so this is causing a lot of fucking dissension and people are, are mad at each other for this shit, right? So, um, Jay becomes the president. Uh, some, some changes happen. Magically, um, <laughs> uh, Dame gets fired. Uh, from Rockefeller, and then the, how do you get fired if you're a partner? Um, it's it's a weird story. I'm, I'm free balling because this story, like, because I was a kid when this happened, right? Mm-hmm. So, and then of course I haven't gone back because actually it's, it's a very sad story to me because I like them so much, like because them together is like fucking Batman and Superman together. Yeah. But like seeing them, seeing them apart, it's, it's sad. So I, like, I that's, that's the one story that I, I just don't like to go back to that far. But um, because it sucks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, because it's like it's hood legends, man. Um. <laughs> But uh, I, don't, I don't know if he ended up getting fired, but some way, somehow, he loses control of his portion of... Ro- oh, no, no, actually, what happens is they split Rockefeller. Oh, okay. And he, basically, people are made to make a choice, which is like... Go with Jay-Z or go with... Go, go with Jay or go with Dame. Um, a lot of people were already signed to Dame, uh, one of those people being Kanye West. Because mm. Con- Dame Dash signed Kanye West. Jay-Z, which is, you know, it's been talked about heavily. Jay-Z never believed in Kanye West. Jay-Z was like, you make dope beats, but your ass can't rap. <laughs> Don't fucking rap. Just keep making beats. Right. Dame was the one who was like, your beats is fire. You want to rap? Okay. 
all right, let me see. He was like, all right, I like it. Just work on it. When, when Kanye worked on it, he presented Dame some shit on you know, an album. Dame was like, okay, you're next. You're next. Dame was going, he was, he was risking that. That's a risk. Now, yeah. he's like, because Jay-Z's like, no, don't put him out. You know, don't put him out. Uh, don't put him out. The, uh, the, the guy, you know, he's not Rockefeller, quote unquote. Yeah, he's not yeah. the sound and everything like that. You know, it, he's different. It's not going to work. Um, what ends up happening is Kanye comes out, Kanye sells, they split Rockefeller. Um, people who want to go with Dame go with Dame. People who want to stay with Hove go with Hove. Kanye ends up going with Jay Z. <laughs> so uh, fucked up. <laughs> the rest is history. So then, um, yeah, basically, we see the album that together and everything. So. Yeah. So basically, the rest is history. And then the the fucked up part is somehow I don't know if, if Dame left or Dame quit or anything like that because like shit was now f- all fucked up in a disarray. But after Dame was pretty much completely out. At Def Jam, Jay Z then, with all of Rockefeller, he dropped them all. <laughs> he dropped them all, and now him as the president dropped everybody, but he still survived everything. And of course, now he has the biggest budget, quote unquote. He's the president now. He's the guy over there. Yeah. And now the flagship artist on Rockefeller is Kanye, who he also has with him now too. And you know, like I said, the rest is history. They end up finding Rihanna, create Rock Nation. Dame is left on the sidelines being like, what the fuck? Um, But even from that story, people look at it like a lot of people are like, okay, ethically, that's fucked up. Right. That's your friend. You know, he rode for you. He did a lot for you. Kind of seems like you did him. You did him dirty. Business people say a smart, smart move because he survived everything. Like he came out. He is a smart movie. He came out on top. And not to mention, he furthered his fucking career. And without that move, it's one of those critical moves in his career. Without that, I don't think he even gets here. Without yeah, that he'd be forgotten about. He'll be forgotten about. Like, or maybe not forgotten about, but he wouldn't be at the level that he is today. He wouldn't without, be relevant. Yeah, without that move. Exactly. 